First thing that I want to look at is going back to the beginning when I was talking about CSP. So I've loaded up my bank's website here, and let's check the Wi-Fi is working, I'll refresh the page. It looks like we're all good. So I talked at the beginning about content security policy and how we can stop malicious content in our pages. And I want to demonstrate a problem here with the Barclays Banking website. So does anyone here work for Barclays? <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> I might have had to quickly switch the website I was going to use. <laughs> Um, they so, do, you can ask them to pass it on. <laughs> yeah. Or they might get me out. <laughs> so I've just copied some script there. I've got a script payload in my notepad here. I'm literally just going to copy this script, switch back over to the Barclays site, and I'm going to paste it into the console. I'm going to hit enter to let the script run, and then I'll close the console so you can see what it actually does to the website. Now, some of you may have heard of something called the Holland Shake from a few years ago. Well, this script is now running on this particular page. And basically all it does, it makes the logo jump around, it plays some annoying music, and when it kicks in, it makes everything on the page just go super crazy. And you can scroll through, and everything, you just randomly select elements on the page, and it starts doing really annoying things. Now, is there anyone that thinks that's a security risk? Is there anyone that'd be, that would be worried if I'd just done that to your website, your corporate website? Now there's only a few people, and I can kind of, I, I see both sides of this, in that I've just done that to my local copy of the page in my browser here. This obviously isn't going to affect anybody else that visits the Barclays website, it's just my local copy. But what it does demonstrate is that if I can get that content there, the browser will honor it, it will run it, it will do whatever the content says, and if it says do the whole shape and go crazy, it will. Now I can't do the rest of the demo on the Barclays website because I would have to break the law. So fortunately we have another website and you just pretend I'm still on the Barclays website. <laughs> this is a website set up by Troy Hunt that you're actually allowed to hack. So you can do malicious things to this site and not get in trouble because he set it up specifically <coughs> for that. So what we want to do is we want to try and get that script into the page. We want to try and get some malicious things going on. And I'm going to use something called a reflective cross-site scripting attack. So if I put, when I say reflected content, if I put OWASP into the search bar there, I submit that, that to the website, and then the content is reflected back in several locations. The string OWASP is now in the URL, it's been redrawn back into the search box, and back into the string there. So I just gave it a harmless string like OWASP. What if I give it a piece of JavaScript? It will then take that piece of JavaScript, and then render the JavaScript back into the page. And rather than type it all out, I just have a nice little URL here to copy and paste that does effectively exactly the same thing, except I've passed it some JavaScript. So it takes what it thinks is the search term, it renders it back into the page, and what it's rendering into the page is actually JavaScript. And I can now execute JavaScript and do things like pop alert boxes. Obviously you would do something a lot more malicious than pop alert boxes, but it just goes to show that if you can get the script into the page, the browser will honor it. And this is what we can neutralize with CSP, because the browser would know that that script is not supposed to be there. Now, we can also do, if you want to do this, I'll tweet the link or ask me for it afterwards. You can also make websites do the Holland shape reflected as well. So again, I'm just rerunning the same page, and this time I'm actually passing in the Holland shape script reflected. And if you want to find me on Twitter now, actually, I'll send this out. Um, do not click this link. You can click it, it's fine. Honestly, like, <laughs> nothing bad will happen if you click this link. Um, so if you find me on Twitter now, actually, you can go and click on that link, and hopefully, I want to hear someone's device playing the Harlem Shake. Uh, my handle, by the way, is just there, at Scott underscore Helm. If you click on that link now, this proves that this is actually a cross-site scripting payload. If you click on it, the browser will start playing the Harlem Shake, and we'll hear someone's phone, someone click on it, we'll hear someone's phone or laptop playing the Harlem Shake, and you can completely neutralize this with CSP. Uh, I was going to do a couple of moments other there we go. So it works. That's proof that it works. And we can actually get the, the ability to execute scripts in this page. Now, I was going to do another demonstration. So this is reflected. You have to click on the URL. But you do also have the ability to actually embed the malicious script in the page. And I was going to use this website, but somebody 